What's up crypto enthusiasts? Welcome back to another Wise Staking video. And this one is a good one because we're talking about ways that Wise Token can pump. And so I haven't made a video like this previously because I see so much clickbait out there that is like, you know, token's gonna 100x and, you know, guaranteed price returns. This will make you rich, rah, rah, rah. It just, it just uh, takes away from the credibility. So that's why I haven't talked about price thus far. However, talking about price and talking about ways price can go up is very important because why would anybody want to buy something that wasn't gonna go up in price? So we're going to do it differently today because I'm going to explain to you from a tokenomics perspective how Wise Token can pump and you can take the analysis and play with the numbers yourself. So first of all, consider this illustration I've created here. We've got a mountain of money, a mountain climber, a rocket ship, and a moon. And so this is to illustrate how projects work, how the economy of projects work. And so most projects, what they do is they have some type of an, ish, of an initial buy-in to their token. So people pay money and pay money and pay money and pay money. And then the token has a set market cap, let's call it $10 million. So let's say they sold $10 million worth of their tokens. And the token has a market cap of $10 million. And what they want to do is they want a 100 exit, 1,000 exit from there so the price can go to the moon and make everybody rich. There's only one problem with that scenario, and this is why so many of the ICOs failed and why so many other projects that were even good projects didn't really make it. The problem is where does this money go? Because when you buy those tokens, does it go directly into backing the tokens? Do they put it in a bank somewhere or on an exchange so that you can get your money back? Does it go to backing the tokens? No, it doesn't. Uh, 99 times out of 100, this money is going to the investors, it's going to the developers, it is going to the founders. It does not go to supporting the actual token. So what people are usually doing when they're buying an altcoin is buying a worthless token that doesn't actually have any backing in the hopes that the more people use it, the more useful it will become and the more valuable it will become. But they are not starting from here on top of the mountaintop of the money that was put into it. They're starting down here. So they pay all their money, but the money doesn't do anything for them. They have worthless tokens and they hope that the more people that use it will create that value again so that they can go to the moon. The only problem there is they set, they just set themselves back by this mountain of money because they're starting from zero. Their money didn't go to backing the token. Their money went other places. So now they have to recoup all the money that they spent for the market cap of that token. And then only once they reach that point can they increase from there. So this is really important to understand because WISE does this differently and it makes it a lot better. So in WISE, the money doesn't go to the founders. There's no founder's fee. There's no profits for the company. There is no extra things where the money goes. There's no, in, there's no airdrops. There's no incentives. There's no diluting of the tokens. So your money is preserved. Now there's a small cost for startup because it costs money to pay, to pay the developers, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a capped startup fee which is gonna be no more than 10% of all the money that comes in. Um, so it's safe to say at least 90% of the money is going to backing up the actual token itself. And we do that through a new technology that we created called ownerless liquidity, which means that all the money comes in, you know, 90% or more of the money that comes in is being sent to Uniswap, the Uniswap exchange, and then the control, the keys for that, are thrown away by the contract. So the way Uniswap works is the controlling aspect of the money on Uniswap and uh, the way you can put money on and take money off, Uniswap gives you liquidity tokens. Those tokens are held by the contract and then sent to a burn address so that all this money is trustlessly on Uniswap for you to trade. So instead of starting from here and having to recoup all of this in order to be able to moon, all, we, all you, ha you would have to do is recoup the startup cost and your money didn't go anywhere. It's right there on Uniswap. 
So the so this means that our ecosystem, the Wise ecosystem, is extremely sensitive to price appreciation to the upside because it preserves the value so well. Just the slightest amounts of additional money increase the market cap and increase the market cap and increase the market cap. And before long, we're on this rocket ship and blasting off to the moon. So that's the overall concept. And now let me explain to you how Uniswap works. So here is an Excel spreadsheet that will signify um, and we can change the values for the starting Ethereum pool for the all the Ethereum the project brings in and then gets put into Uniswap. And then the output you would need to 100x the price. So let's say this project was a complete failure and only 500 Ethereum got sent in total. That's I, I'm setting the, the Ethereum value to $300 because it just went above $300. So that's $150,000. So that money is on Uniswap and, and, and uh, to be able to 100X the price on Uniswap, that would only take $1.3 million to be able to 100X the price. There's actually a lot of people with, uh, with $1.3 million. So if the market cap were this small, that could absolutely happen. So let's switch it to $10,000, or excuse me, 10,000 Ethereum. So 10,000 Ethereum is, is $3 million total. And then you would need $27 million in order to make the price 100X from there. And that is after launch. And so in case you don't know how the system works, there's 50 days of launch. During the 50 days of launch, that's basically price discovery. No one's gonna be getting a deal um, at, like better than the other person unless you got lucky on an RNG day or you correctly evaluated certain days as uh, as you know low activity versus other ones. You know, if there's if there's a less Ethereum going in on the early days and you put in on the early days, you're gonna get a better price. Or if there's less Ethereum going in at the end and you put in then, then you're getting a better price. But overall, as far as averages are concerned, everybody's getting an even price and um, the, the 50 days of launch are price discovery because the price is determined by the market, by the people who send Ethereum there. It's only afterwards, that is when the ROI comes, people joining WISE afterwards. And so there's been some questions in the chat that have been like, hey, uh, well, don't we want a smaller market cap because if we change this uh, to only 100 Ethereum, look, we could have only a $30,000 market cap. And then to start off to 100x, the price would only take $270,000. Well, yes, that is true if you want some type of pump and dump. Um, but why is, is not a pump and dump? And the thing is, that's, that's really short term thinking. Because I don't want to 100x my money. I want to 10,000x my money. And in order to be able to 10,000x my money, we're talking about market caps the size of Ethereum or higher, you know, size of Bitcoin as well. And so for Wise to get that big, it needs to have credibility and it needs to have a larger launch as possible. And also there is a fallacy um, that is affecting people when they are discussing this because they see a smaller number and they think that's more obtainable. But the thing to keep in mind is you're only thinking that that's more obtainable because that's a smaller number. It takes the same amount of economic energy relative to the people who are adopting it. So for instance, if 50,000 Ethereum came into the pool, that's $15 million. Yeah, it would take $135 million worth of extra money to 100x the price. However, we have $15 million worth of people. That's a lot more people. And so those more people are like, do you think they're good? First of all, potentially they're going to tell the same people. They're going to tell their friends, their family, their social media. They're going to tell other investors that they're friends with just the same as no matter what the market cap was. And maybe even there's an argument to say, to say that Actually, these people have more incentive to tell their friends and their entire network the bigger the, the, the initial market cap is. Because let's change this to 200,000. 
200,000 Ethereum, which I think is absolutely possible to bring in, especially considering the amount of YouTubers we have on board. Like, we, Wise is going to be seen by millions and millions of people. Um, so let's say we bring in $60 million as the market cap. Don't you think that's going to be something people are going to be excited about? This will be, if we bring in $60 million, I believe that's that would make us the largest liquidity pool on Uniswap to start off. I think that's worth talking about. And that would even create more excitement from people um, than if it were a smaller market cap. So understand that, yeah, it takes more economic energy to make it go up, but it's the same ratio as if it were small. Plus, the bigger the project is, the more chances we have of really going viral. Because if we bring in $60 million, do you think there's a chance that anybody w with any credibility whatsoever in finance and cryptocurrency is not going to talk about this? Like, hello, there's going to be so much buzz about Wise Token if if we bring in this kind of money that it's going to be exponential. So don't uh, don't listen to the ideas that say that are thinking small. Oh, I want a smaller market cap because it takes less money to 100x the price. We're not thinking 100x. We're thinking 10,000x in the long term. And 100x in your money in the short term is also extremely possible if you know if we can go big. So. The thing also is it doesn't matter anyway whether people would rather not tell people about WISE until after launch because our referral program's incentive is so heavily geared to bringing in people during launch. There's a 10% commission uh, during launch that goes away after launch ends. I mean, yes, the residual income of the referral program is probably going to be pretty nice as well, but direct 10% commissions cash on cash, that is a huge incentive to bring people in. So please understand that it, it does not take much to make Wise Moon because we are starting from the top of this mountain instead of from the bottom of the mountain. And our system is extremely sensitive to upward pressure and extremely resistant against downward pressure because all this money didn't go anywhere and it's backing the price. And since we're starting from the top, just the slightest amounts of movement will cause this rocket ship to go to the moon. So this link right here is going to be in the description so you can play with it as well. It's gonna be a read only, so you might have to copy it onto your own Google Drive, but the link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video as well, and I will see you in the next one.